Hello everyone, welcome back to NoTech. In this video, we can see how to handle the broken images in a web page in Selenium. Let's get started. If you look at this web page, here we have two broken images and one good image. So let's write the script to how to identify this broken image. So go to your Eclipse IDE, right click from your package, select new and then select class. Here give the class name broken images and then select this checkbox and click on the finish button. Now launch the web browser web driver driver equal to new Firefox driver. Then open the web page. Copy this URL and then paste here. Here clear this error by importing the Firefox driver. Now we need to locate this element. So this is our first image. So right click inspect and this is the web element and here we need to find the xpath since we don't have any id or name. So right click copy copy xpath. So write web element image one equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath. So here paste that xpath value and then change this uh, double quotes to single quotes. Here put a semicolon and then import this web element. So how to find that whether Im image is broken or not. So we have an attribute called natural width to identify whether the image is broken. So this natural width will return the original width of the image if it is a good image and if the natural width is 0 then the image is broken. So let us write image 1 this variable this variable name dot get attribute of natural width dot equals 0. So if this image 1 the uh, natural width attribute is equal to 0 then image is broken. Image 1 is broken else image 1 is image one is not broken. Now let us run the script and check. Right click run as Java application. So we got the result as image one is broken. Now we can try with the next images so we have two more images so let's try with the second one so now locate this web element so right click go to inspect and this is our uh, image path so let's identify the x path of this element copy x path so repeat the same step for the image 2 web element image 2 equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath here paste that xpath value change the double quotes to single quotes here also we need to repeat the same so if this image to dot get attribute of natural width equals 0 then image is broken that is image 2 is broken if not image 2 is not broken and 
and now let's go with the third one so let's identify the web element inspect copy the xpath now write web element image 3 equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath so repeat the same steps copy the xpath remove this double quotes and change to single quotes and same here also if this image 3 dot get attribute of natural width dot equals 0 then image 3 is broken else image 3 is not broken image 3 is not broken now let's run the script So here we got the result as the first two images are broken and the third image is not broken. So the result is same. So the first two images are broken and the third one is not broken. So now if we see the script, we have many if and else conditions. So let's write the code to minimize this line, uh, this much of lines using a for loop. So let's see how to minimize this code. Now I am commanding this code. Okay. Now store all this xpath value in a string array. String of image xpath equal to open brace. So this is our this is the xpath of the first image. Comma. Then second one. and then third one so we need to pay uh, copy and paste inside a double quotes so here we need a semicolon now write a for each loop for each and press control space so it will give the syntax okay so here instead of this variable we can give another variable name image path so here we need to identify the web element inside the for loop web element image equal to driver dot find element by xpath but instead of xpath we need to since we already stored that xpath value in this string variable and we are iterating in this for loop so copy this image variable xpath now let's use the get attribute of natural width to identify the broken images so inside if condition if this image dot get attribute of natural width dot equals zero then image is broken system dot out dot print ln so this image path so we are taking the path image path is broken so else image path is not broken
Now let's run the script again. So here we got the result and we minimized this if else condition to inside the for loop. Now let me explain the script again. So first launch the web browser, then open the web page. So locate all the three. Now let me explain the script again. So first launch the web browser, then open the web page. So identify the XPath of all the three images and store all, all three XPath in a string array. So now use a for each loop. Then inside the for each loop, locate the element by the XPath which, I, which we already stored here. And then using a if condition, compare the natural width of, the, of each element is equal to 0 or not. So if that attribute is 0, then the image is broken. If not, the image is not broken. So hope you understand this. If you have any clarification, please mention in the comments. Please like this video and subscribe to Notech. Thank you.